Hello guys, and welcome to my very first uh, League of Legends gameplay. Um, this is something a little bit different, and I haven't, um, you know, I haven't done anything uh, like this before, you know, I haven't done any Dota or whatever, anything like that, so um, I'm kind of new to this, um, you know, type of game. Um, I thought I would just record some gameplay for you guys, because I've noticed a few YouTubers such as like iPod Mail and few others have been doing some gameplay of this video, of, of this video, of this, um, of this game, and it looked quite interesting, so I thought I'd give it a shot, and, um, yeah, I'm actually enjoying it so far, um, as you can see, my character name is the same as my YouTube name, Makebox Live, and, um, that, uh, Shane2208, he's actually my friend in real life, um, we were talking on Skype during this gameplay, uh, hence why there's actually no audio to this, um, uh, game audio to this video. Um, I did think about adding it in, but there would have been, you know, you would have had to uh, listen to us sort of game chatting instead of um, me actually doing the commentary, so I thought I'd uh, just mute the audio and uh, commentate over the top. So basically, my favourite character at the moment would be have to be Ash. Um, I'm just, I find her um, one of the better champions. Um, and she kind of supports, you know, my game style, you know, she's a bit of a supporter carry uh, champion and that's what I like to play, I'm not really a tank kind of guy, I don't, don't really like to be a, uh, <coughs> you know, um, a healer or anything like that, so stick to the carry. Um, at the start, basically, wha the way I play Ash is just gold farm at the start, rack up as much as I can, try not to recall too early because, um, you know, the allows your opponents to sort of rank up and earn gold easier so sort of stay around here try and um, kill as many minions as I can but at the same time trying to hold their champions back from pu making a push up towards our turrets at the other end um, basically what I normally do is increase Ash's health to start um, as you can see here I'm actually failing them I'm actually left my frost frost shot on which is basically Ash's slow attack while I'm attacking the tower and the minions. That's a huge fail on my behalf. I'm just throwing away mana. But yeah, like I was saying, what I normally do is um, I buy health items uh, such as the giant's belt and uh, I believe it's called the ruby crystal or something like that. Uh, you'll see in a sec anyway when I go and buy it. But um, buy them two first. Then I normally go into the boots of swiftness because I find when I'm slowing champions, a lot of them uh, haven't already uh, already have a faster default speed than me. So if for whatever reason I, um, you know, miss my or they dodge my slow attack or whatever, they'll just you know easily get away. As you can see, they were picking up our, my first kill of the game. Uh, much uh, to the dismay of Shane, my dad, he kind of raged. Thought it might have been his kill, but nope, it was mine all along, as you guys could clearly see. Um, uh, yeah, after I've got the boots finished and the two, uh, the two, um, what do you call it, uh, <laughs> the two health items, I, um, uh, then, then can start to upgrade my damage because Ash's attack damage is pretty weak, uh, at the start of the game, and, you know, really does need to be upgraded, uh, for her to have a significant impact on the game. Um, other than that, um, well, actually, sorry. What the um damage items I do normally buy to start with would uh be the uh frozen mallet. I try and pick up the frozen mallet as early as possible, and then I go for the uh last whisper, I believe, and the uh BF sword or the boyfriend sword, as we call it. Um, uh, as you can see here. We were having a bit of a discussion with our teammate. He, d he doesn't um, think that there should be two champions in the middle, which is fair enough. I do understand that that's uh, some people's view on this game, but what me and my friend Shane like to do, we like to push the middle um, that that way because we're both sort of um, you know making a push middle. If any of the teammates need help, it's just a short run to the other side because we are you know very team orientated. If anyone types in the chat that they need help, we'll jump straight across there. Or if we see just you know visually see that there's three champions on one side and two on the other will split up, send one to the one with three and one to the one with, you know, two. So, um yeah, I think I'm I think this this kill goes to yeah, it goes to 
Rule Heen or whoever heard of his name was. Um, here we've got a bit of a mix up. We've got three at the top, none in the middle, and one down the bottom, I think. So uh, me and Shane decide to switch down to the bottom. I believe he goes middle and helps out uh, whoever's controlling Nunu in the middle there. And um, then he makes his way down further in the game. Um, I have sped up the boring bits, such as you know walking across and me recalling and stuff. And as you can uh, as you can see, it significantly shorted, shortened the gameplay. I think this was around a you know 25, 30 minute gameplay. And I've shortened it down to I don't know 13 minutes or something. I'm not quite sure about that. You have to um, bear with me. But um, yeah, that took a fair bit of editing actually. Um, I because Fraps for some reason for me records in um, chunks of about a minute and a half, two minutes of gameplay. I had to you know uh, render them all, put them together, speed up the parts I needed to, split up the parts I didn't want to speed up, and um, remove all the audio from all of the parts, which isn't a difficult job but it's just a bit time consuming and um, this gameplay was actually a few days ago that I actually recorded and I just haven't got around to the commentary because uh, by the time I'd finished recording um, editing and all that it was you know 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock in the morning so I decided to give it a rest and I was going to do it the next day but I had basketball and couldn't uh, couldn't get it done. So here I actually bought the Boots of Swiftness to start because I knew these guys, they were a little bit lower skilled and I knew that their attacks weren't going to do much damage to me because they didn't really know what they were doing. So I knew I was going to do a lot of chasing to kill and such, such as here. So I decided to go with the Boots of Swiftness over the Ruby Crystal. Um, simply for tactical reasons, just uh, adapting to my uh, opponent's playstyle. Um, and stuff like that. Here we go. I think I'm about to pick up another kill here. Yeah, there's my killing spree. Um, sh I see here Shane's uh, low on health, needing to recoil, so I kind of uh, decided to go with him. I thought it's a good time to go buy some uh, upgrades. I had a little bit of a look around in the shop. And I ended up buying my Ruby Crystal, um, which I normally would buy before the Boots of Swiftness, but like I say, I knew the, uh, the teammates, sorry, the enemies we were playing uh, weren't exactly the highest of skilled so I knew I'd be doing a lot of chasing for kills and such so I went with the Boots of Swiftness over the Ruby Crystal. Um, as you can see here my my um I don't know what you call it but the uh, drop order I guess the order of uh, attack for me with Ash is I use my uh, ulti at the start of a fight um, this normally you know kind of psychs you point out like wow it just took off you know 250 health better start running then I'll drop my um, volley which also uh, applies frost shot so they, they're slowed and then Shane will jump on and I'll just follow him at, um, using frost shot to slow them down even further and we sh normally uh, pick up the kill unless they retreat behind a tower or you know another champion comes in to, uh, to back him up but right here, I have no idea why this other Ash character didn't run. He can, you can obviously see that I have a lot more health than him, and I killed him quite easily. Um, I'm not sure what he was thinking. Maybe he was a new, newer kind of player, but it was a bit of a, a silly move on his behalf. Here, I actually go in and I buy. I look for what I need for the frozen mallet. I can see I already got the giant's belt and the ruby crystal. So then I go and buy the uh, long sword, which I believe adds a significant amount to your damage your attack damage and um, yeah we end up I think this guy gets away from memory yeah he does I'm pretty sure he does or no actually no we kill him eventually I think Shane gets a kill though yeah I'm right okay um, yeah I only ever use my frost shot against other champions because it drains your mana to use and it does slow and when you use minion when you're fighting against minions they never retreat so there's no real point in using a slow against them and here I got ripped off of a double kill. Um, Shane took the kill. <laughs> I wasn't very happy with him for that. <laughs> but, um, I typed in the chat nice because I like to show my uh, teammates that I'm, you know, actively chatting. I don't like teammates that come in and just, you know, ignore your chat. So I just type in the chat every even every now and then, even though I'm talking to Shane on Skype. Um, here we start making a bit of a push. I believe we do get past this tower sometime soon. I think we might even destroy it now. I think that's why I'm speeding up the gameplay because 
don't really need to see that. I decided here, I knew the tower was attacking me, but I thought to stick with it because it was almost, excuse me, almost dead. And we got the uh, the tower takedown in the end. Um, then we started making a push. Uh, I think the uh, the enemy champions had learnt by now that it's probably not a good idea to come uh, down the bottom. But uh, unfortunately, this other Ash character still didn't learn that he's c probably going to get his butt kicked. <laughs> and he does again and uh, gets me my sixth kill, my zeroth death. See, I invented my own word there, zeroth. But um. Six deaths at the moment, zero. Ki uh, no, sorry, six kills, zero deaths, and five assists. Um, normally, when Shane, you, um, this week on the rotation is like misfortune, obviously. But last week on the rotation was Olaf, and I, um, I actually started playing with Olaf and um, decided that you know Shane was more of an aggressive player than I, and I thought you know what Shane, you play as Olaf and um, you know see how you go with him, and he was actually doing pretty well. And uh, I was just playing the support role. I ended up with one game. I had zero kills, one death, and ten assists, which I didn't mind a bit because uh, we ended up winning the game because Shane was just absolutely slaying people. Um, you know, I just kept slowing them, and he just walk in and just reckless swing, and just kick their butt. So um, at the moment, he's actually saving up for Olaf. I think he might have even bought him this afternoon actually because he said he had time for a couple of games. As he was only, I think, uh, 100 points off, 100 uh, influence points off buying Olaf uh, prior to this afternoon, so pretty sure he might have uh, got, uh, bought himself Olaf. And I see this here. This is a real bad move on my part. You see how the minions are all dead. I decided to frost shot he, uh, to volley here, and I saw Ash was almost dead, so I went for the kill. Shane got him, and then I charged in like this, thinking I can get bench press 666, and the tower started attacking me. I had no idea it was. And I actually got killed just before I got the kill on bench press. So um, as you can see here, I'm actually typing in the <laughs> on the chat uh, that that was you know my bad. It was it was a poor move on my part. It was completely stupid. I have no idea why I did it. And it, I got killed for it. So um, <laughs> my friend Shane just uh, messaged me on Facebook and said he's been banned from LOL for a day for quitting. Oh, I find that funny because he doesn't quit games. <laughs> but um, yeah, like I was saying, that was a bad move on my half, and I do not know how I got. I didn't get that kill. Right there, I stepped back and I thought, "Oh, I'll go for him again," and then misfortune dropped her ulti, and I thought, "Nah, I'm out," <laughs> and I left. Um, I saw Shane was coming down uh, through the bushes or the swamp or the marsh or whatever you want to call it. And I decided to go back in. Otherwise, I would have I would have uh, recalled. But I was absolutely kicking myself at this stage. I should have killed Ash. I reckon she must have had only you know, 20, 10 he 20 or 10 health or something. So I was, you know, pretty angry at myself. And um, this is where we started to make our push. Started to wreak some havoc within their base. And uh, this is pretty much where the game was won for us. We uh, destroyed this inhibitor, started spawning super minions. I recalled here, um, bought some items, I believe. Have I bought my, I don't think, yes I have, okay. So what did I buy to say? I'm not sure what I bought to say, but, oh okay, must have been, yeah, I bought Last Whisper. So, oh okay, apparently we have audio for this part of the game. <laughs> That's my, my editing fail, I guess. But uh, you watch it drop out in a sec anyway. <laughs> There's Shane, as you can tell. Um, okay, um, I won't edit it out before I upload this. I'll just leave it because um, might be a little bit interesting to listen to as we start to make a push to team chat. Uh, you can't record my voice because I disabled the um, recording of external input through my microphone, so you don't actually hear me. And I believe I, yeah. Don't get that kill, but not to worry. Um, I'm not sure what I was doing here, actually. I'm kind of all over the place at the moment, but um, this Rebel Spartan guy. Oh, no, different. I thought I was thinking of another time, but I don't know why that tower decided to attack me. Like, all the minions that were there, out of all the minions that decided to attack me, and, um,. Yeah, Shane wants some help. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, oh, that's where I actually um, 
I disconnected at that point. But yeah, that's us picking up the win. Um, pretty much just wishing, I'd uh, say it was a good game, you know. They put up a good fight. They didn't surrender, which is good to see. Um, yes, we did go to town on them, Shane. But that's the end of the video. Um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, let me know if you want to see more LOL because I'm, um, you know, I play that fair bit and I don't mind recording um, at all. So uh, yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys next time.